what are your views on hip hop music? Um, and that, that's for both of you. That's okay. for both of you. Uh, our view is completely different. Yeah. Um, com- we've, 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 we've discussed this amongst <laughs> ourselves. Uh, he takes very, very much, uh, it's a positive thing. Um, for me, I take a completely different perspective. Uh, yeah. Okay, you want to go ahead? It's a movement which has shaped the world um, uh, in, in terms of like popular culture, um, in terms of fashion trends, in terms of music. It has not just, it's not just on its own, but it's influenced so-called dance music as well. Um, and I see a lot of innovation with that. Um, in terms of instrumentation, they had no instruments. But what did they do? They turned uh, actual equipment, like what's in front of us, into instruments, turntables and so forth. So there is a lot that I see as being a continuation of like what... But is, isn't that just because as African people, we're yeah. very creative. We can turn anything into yes, something. Yes, but they did that. So that's yeah. what hip hop is. But what about concerned. the message though? Like now, exactly. let's be honest, now, like... Exactly. You heard of, have you heard of Sexy Red? Is that name Sexy Red? We, we had this conversation, <laughs> didn't we? We had this conversation, yeah. didn't we? Yeah. This is what so, I'm talking about. So, you know, where myself and Robin agree yeah. is um, the message has been completely hijacked. So why is it that we allowed it? Why did we champion these people? Why did we call these people celebrities? Why did we celebrate them for them to even have that platform to talk the nonsense that they talk? Because I guarantee you could not... Look at Drake. He's mixed race, half Jewish, half black. He can't talk about the Jewish community the way he talks about his black side. Why do we allow this? 